an old enemy. An enemy that was the enemy of the creatures of the forest. An enemy, an old enemy, of the owner of the Biltmore house. An old enemy who had come back to finish what he had started years ago. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome epic fantasy book, Seraphina series book 2, Seraphina and the Twisted Staff by Robert Beattie himself. And well, let's get right on to it. This book is obviously about a girl named Seraphina. From when she was younger, she knew that she was normal. She was awake at night and she was kind of cat-like. In the end of the last book, she finds out that she is a catamount, who is a human that can morph into a type of cat, for example, a mountain lion or a panther, or a tiger, I suppose. And she was delighted. And then it, start, it all starts when she was patrolling in the night. She thought of herself as the chief rat catcher of the Biltmore house which meant that she caught all kinds of rats. Rats, saying some very evil people, including those people. And so he was, she was just ready for anything and she was patrolling the woods. Then she saw a very sinister carriage. And the horses, they weren't being controlled by a carriageman. They were simply obeying. They were just... It was like they were being dragged and controlled by an invisible force, and it was very uncanny. And then the carriage stopped, and from it left a man, a very evil-looking man. And he looked very sinister, and then he said, he said to some dogs, some wolfhounds he had, and he said, Fine. Which is, well, creepy enough on its own. And then, of course, the wolfhounds went straight for Seraphina's hiding place. Seraphina started to run and turned back to fight against the wolfhounds, but it was a little too much for her. And she started running. And then, a, a very feline looking boy, a boy who looked like he could be a catamount, came out of nowhere and said, Stay bold. And he helped Serafina get away from the terrible mess. And she managed to reach the graveyard clearing where her mother, a catamount, also had her den with, some, with her cubs. And she managed to get some treatment. But her mother was, at, was being all mysterious and weird. And she said that she was going to leave because an ancient enemy had come back. And she didn't think she had to stop power to fight the enemy anymore. And... To be honest with you, um, hello, why are you going? And meanwhile, Serafina is so, is left alone to protect the Grand Biltmore house. And she immediately goes back. She knows that there was a second person in that uncanny carriage. And she wanted to find out who it was. And she goes back to Biltmore house, where she finds Brayden. She needs to talk to him after all. They know what kind of dark and creepy stuff can happen around here. But Brayden was um, teaching horseback riding to a girl. A girl named Lady Rowena. And Serafina was slightly jealous, but then thought it was kind of ridiculous. After all, Brayden is obviously not going to fall for all kinds of ploys and cuteness of that girl. So, you know, typical, typical. And then... They are called by who seems to be who have arrived in the middle of the night. Perhaps the woman, the second person who was on the carriage. His name was Mr. Grathom, and he said he was a murder investigator, which is um creepy. And he said that he was here to investigate the murder of Mr. Thorne, which immediately made. Serafina suspect that Mr. Grothen might have a second purpose, which might be, you know, to take the black cloak, if you know what I mean. And our dear Mr. Grothen immediately calls Serafina and Braden up to a room where they talk. 
and Mr. Vanderbilt tells them to tell the truth in a very edgy voice, and this tells them that they have to tell the truth, but not the complete truth. Mr. Grothin is a little bit suspicious, and his his face and his eyes just made them feel like he could tell between a lie and a truth. And as Serafina answers those questions and manages to get through that very jumpy little investigation, she starts to hear stories, stories of an old man in the woods who everyone fears, and she started to piece the pieces together. Meanwhile, strange things are happening in Biltmore. Animals who would never, ever do things that they did, did things. For example, the stable hand, who loved the oh, loved horses, was killed by a horse. And Serafina, who was loved by the Miss by Brandon's dog, they have fought together after all. Brandon's dog attacked Serafina, making Brandon almost blame Serafina. Then, finally, Serafina was driving out for a while, and then, then she finally meets the feline boy, who says he is Waisa, who finally tells him who the old man is. He is an evil, dark sorcerer, and in the olden days, his, her, her father and his, her mother had fought against Uriah in a terrible battle, in which many, many catamounts of many, many forests stood against. And well, it was a terrible battle, and they almost destroyed Uriah, but that dark sorcerer, whose name is Uriah, I'm sorry I spoiled that, he kind of went away, and now he's back with even more dark magic and even more powers. He is the creator of the Black Cloak, the Soul Catcher. He is the definition of pure evil. Then they start piecing the pieces together. They ask one of the architects who made the house um, of some of that of that person of that old man picture that they had found within the Grand Billmore house, and the architect answered, and he said that he was a man named Uriah, who was very against Mr. Vanderbilt building his house here. And at that time, the old lands around the Grand Billmore estate was a barren wasteland, mostly because of that same man, Ryan. And Mr. Our Dear Architect said that he could probably make this place a forest in a couple decades. And well, it happened, but Ryan was sent to distant lands, and now he was back. And he had said when he was being sent away to distant lands, he had said this, I will burn this place to the and he's back to fulfill that exact thing. Um, so I'm not going to spoil the entire end of the book. But in the end, the villain's not who you would expect. And Rowena is not who you would expect. Not in a good way or bad way, just saying. And Serafina finally finds out that she can change. And I'll just tell you this. She isn't a mountain lion. And she turns into a particular Marvel superhero who has a cat suit. Awesome book, a very, very enticing read, and like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. Awesome book, a page turner.